Now, do I honestly think that Drip has the potential to 100x? Well, I'll get to that in a minute. Plus, there's some information out there that literally no one is talking about, and it's very, very important in my opinion. So I'm gonna to get to all that in a minute, but first and foremost, you know the drill. If you're watching this and you like this content, please superplex that subscribe button. Leave me some love in the comments, and rest assured I will love you long time if you do. So can Drip 100x once that button is pressed? Yes, it absolutely 100% can. Do I think it would just happen straight away, super easily? Absolutely not. I think this is a time, guys, when we have to really have our expectations in check. The market is very, very red right now. We are still in a bear market. And despite the changes coming to drip, which I think are very, very positive, there is a huge, bumpy road ahead of us. And volatility works both ways. I think there's gonna be people pressing that sell button. There's gonna be people panic buying. I think all of that, in the same week. So do I think it's unreasonable for a token that's currently two cent to go to two dollars in a bull market? Absolutely not, that's absolutely possible. It's happened many, many times. But the good thing is, is that whether you're buying or whether you're selling, there's gonna be taxes involved. And we have now heard that 90% of those taxes will be burned. So whether you're selling drip, whether you're buying drip, you're gonna be helping the protocol. And the ability for people to now drain the system like they used to is gonna be over. Once that button is pressed, everything changes. But of course, there's gonna be people that wanna sell their drip and leave, which they're absolutely entitled to do. But the good thing is now they cannot continuously keep on parasiting the system and they will be helping drip whether they like it or not. So it further adds to the deflationary model and there are gonna be utilities that come to help the burning as well. Now, I'm very much a passive income kind of guy. And if I'm totally honest, I got into drip for the faucet. Now, as I've mentioned before, the faucet isn't drip. Drip isn't the faucet, but that was the main utility. And that's why I got into it in the first place, 1% per day. So I'm very pleased to hear that there's gonna be a staking model coming where we can stake our drip and BNB to earn yield that way. And I've also heard there's a new utility called Drip Marble Run, and that's gonna have staking utility as well as being a game. Now, I'm not gonna pretend I know loads about it. I haven't looked into it properly yet. I will do and mention it in the next video, but it's great to hear that there are passive income options and utilities coming for Drip because that is the reason I got it in the first place. So no matter what happens, Drip is becoming deflationary. And of course, that leads to some very, very big opportunities in terms of price appreciation. But if you look across the market right now, all of the blue chips, they're all still massively down from their all-time highs and drip is no exception. And I don't expect anything to be going straight up. So I'm keeping my expectations very realistic right now. I'm certainly not gonna jump on the hype train or anything like that. I'm just gonna sit back with the popcorn. I've got my targets to buy in. I've got my targets to sell. Yes, I do have sell targets as well. I'm not here just for the community and to make friends, I'm here to make money as well. But I think 90% of my drip, I'm gonna to wanna to put to work for me in some kind of passive play, like the staking and whatever else comes along. Well, I can just lock it up, forget about it and earn yield. And I don't wanna be chasing the market all the time. I'm gonna maybe keep some liquid that I can sort of uh, trade in and out of, but the majority of it, is gonna be put to work for me. And I'm pretty much a 90% blue chip kind of guy. I'm very much into my Bitcoin, XRP, Chainlink, Ethereum, that type of stuff. I have invested in a couple of other DeFi projects as well, but Drip is one of my plays and I'm very, very bullish on it going forward because there's so many changes, there's so much chaos and that is where the opportunity really starts to happen. So I'm looking forward to seeing where all of this goes. I'm not stressing about it. I'm not getting uptight about it. I know it's gonna be a bumpy road and uh, I just have my buy targets in my mind that I've got capital ready to go to scoop some of that deflationary drip up off the market. And I do think we have a decent bull market coming in 2024, 2025. This is not financial advice, guys, by the way. It never, never is. But I am confident there's gonna be some big upsides in most of the projects that I'm in at the moment. And drip is no exception, especially with the new deflationary model. And with such a phenomenal community behind it, the sky is literally the limit. So I'm not gonna get wrapped up too much in the FUD or the hype. I'm just gonna sit back and carry on doing what I'm doing, which is dollar cost average in at my target points. And again, this is not financial advice, but I am personally expecting one last decent sized leg down in the market before things start to take an upward 
trajectory next year for 2024 and the Bitcoin halving. So I'm still keeping capital on the side for all of the projects that I'm interested in. And I do think there might be maybe one last opportunity. I'm not gonna say why I think that might happen because I do value my YouTube channel, but I think the opportunity might be there. So personally, I'm keeping some cash on the side uh, for Drip and for Bitcoin and for XRP, Chainlink and all these other sort of projects that I'm interested in and that I've been accumulating over the past few months particularly. And another thing I wanted to mention is that I'm gonna start a weekly live stream. My schedule is all over the place at the moment. I'm unable to get onto this week's Crypto Collective live stream because of some of the work contracts I've got going on at the moment. I've got to oversee a lot of stuff, so my schedule is totally crazy. I'll be jumping on the Crypto Collective one whenever and wherever I can. And I think over the next sort of few weeks, it's going to be a lot more possible. But in the meantime, I'm going to start doing a weekly live stream where we can talk about all things crypto, lifestyle, fitness, nutrition, and a few other spicy things on top, as long as they're within the YouTube guidelines, of course, where I can have maybe a couple of select guests on every week. And we can chew the fat and we can spend an hour or so just talking about some interesting stuff. So if you think that'd be a good idea, if you'd be interested in watching that, leave a yes in the comments, let me know. I probably won't start it this week, maybe next week once my schedule is a bit more clear, but I would definitely like to start doing that, start connecting with you guys a little bit more on that live stream. So leave in the comments if you think that's gonna be a good idea. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So another busy day ahead. I got very, very little sleep last night. Mini Millions kept me up a lot of last night. I still managed to get to the gym today, still managed to get a full body workout in. Yeah, buddy. Lightweight, baby. Lightweight. Woo! Looks like there's a storm coming here in the UK. It's a little bit colder and uh, it's getting a little bit windy. So Mr. Wookums is uh, getting out with me right now before the mad weather comes out because he does not like walking in the rain. So I'm gonna head back now. I've got a bit of research I've got to do today and I've got to grab some coconut water as well to make sure I'm staying hydrated while I can. So whatever you guys are doing, whatever you're working on, I hope you're having an absolutely blessed day. Stay bullish, stay hydrated for now, and I'll see you all in the next video.